My name is Tony Agnone, and I've been on the board of SLA for the last 25 years. I'm currently the president of the SLA uh, and uh, really got involved with the SLA through Lloyd Chevsky, who founded this organization. Uh, this year is our 39th conference, and uh, uh, I've been on the board of directors for that long a period of time of 25 years, so it's, uh, it's an interesting uh, situation. It's a, a chance for all lawyers from all types of sports to get involved, and this conference is a two-and-a-half-day conference, and uh, usually uh, quite an uh, interesting uh, conference for people to get together uh, at different practices and different disciplines and get a chance to share ideas. It's, uh, it's changed considerably when, of course, we've gotten much bigger. At one time, when we first started the organization, it was with the idea that, you know, that sports law was an actual discipline of law. You know, back then, people laughed when you talked that you were involved with sports law. They didn't understand it. They just thought that, you know, you were in the toy department of a, you know, of a place. But now, they understand that, that we, we really have a discipline we really have a, a lot of different law. We cross all the sections of, uh, of, of, of legal uh, aspects, and therefore uh, now it's turned out to be a, a much bigger conference, much more involved conference in all different areas and disciplines. My background actually comes from the educational background. I was, I was uh, at a, an assistant dean at a law school and uh, then formed my own practice, and I've been representing uh, individual athletes for the last 35 years. And uh, started in 1978 and uh, have continued on all the way through. My main form of practice is with uh, football, American football, and broadcasting, and that's what I've been doing ever since. Probably the most interesting and probably the one that gets the most notoriety is Michael Strahan. We've handled his career from a football aspect all the way into what he's doing today, which is television and entertainment. Michael Strahan was a great defensive end for the New York Giants, but probably will go in the Hall of Fame this year in American football. He's now crossed over and does a talk show in the morning called Michael and Kelly. And so he's like every other host that you see on any program throughout the world. And that's what he's doing at this point. He also, for Fox Sports, does all of their uh, football on Sundays. Uh, he's part of the, the group, uh, uh, Jimmy Johnson, Howie Long, uh, Terry Bradshaw himself, all, all form the, the guys that talk about the games before the game. Uh, my favorite sports probably was, would be continue to be the negotiation of all the defensive ends that we've had in American football. That's been probably the most fun. We've, we right now have the seven, seven of the top defensive ends in football, and uh, we've been very fortunate. Um, so it, it's, that's probably what's been unique for our practice, so to speak. Well, that's an, interesting, that's an interesting question that we don't even know the answer to. What happened was when we got a couple of defensive ends, then more guys followed, and all of a sudden now you're, you know, you're getting a lot of the same position. They felt that we did a good job, I guess, for Michael, and you know, with John Abraham, Kyle Vandenbosch, uh, you know, onward, and, uh, onward and onward in the, in the, in the defensive end category. But it's like everything else, you're trying to do all different positions, it's not just that. Well, my thing is always the same thing. Do what you're passionate about, do what you think, you know, you think is the right thing to do all the time, and let the path lead you. So many people try to make a path. You let it lead you, it's going to come. You're going to have things that, that fall in your lap. You're going to have opportunities. It's just a matter of what you decide to do and how you decide to take that, those opportunities. My mother still would always say, gee, you could have been a dean of a law school, which is you know, a rather prestigious position over here. But I told her, Mom, I'm okay. It's all right. I enjoy doing, as you mentioned, 
it was a great, it's a great opportunity for me to continue to teach, which I still do on a, uh, in a summertime basis and enjoy it, but at the same time to show the entrepreneurial spirit, to move forward, to, to establish a business, to, you know, to watch that unfold and enjoy these players' careers from the start to the end to afterlife, because they all have to have afterlife. They all retire no, no later than about 40 at the most here. So you try to be able to do that part of it. So my advice, the three things I would say is follow your dream, follow your passion, and just let the opportunities come to you, not try to aggressively uh, focus on making it happen, let it happen.